Hey guys, Zed here, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you useful vehicles that every GT Online player needs to have. But before we start, leave a like on the video as it helps me a lot, and comment your favourite vehicle in GT Online in the comment section down below. Coming up first, we have the Benefactor Krieger. It is one of the fastest supercars in GT Online, it's really useful in races, travelling long distance, and it's just one of those cars every player likes to show off. Now it is expensive, costing about $2.8 million, but personally I think it's worth every single cent. I have one of these myself and it's just so amazing. Among all the supercars I have, the Krieger is just my favourite. Up next we have the Night Shark. The Night Shark is just perfect for when you're dealing with griefers and tryhards. It can take up to 4 rockets and 27 homing missiles. In case you didn't know, the Oppressor Mark II has only 20 homing missiles, so that means it can take 7 more. And if you upgrade it, you can also make the windows bulletproof. So yeah, the Night Shark is literally just the best way to counter griefers in GTA Online. Coming up next we have the Laser and the Hydra. Now I'm pretty sure you've died to these jets many times in GTA Online. Online. But yeah, these jets come with missiles, cannons, and are just really fast. The Hydra allows you to switch between hover and flight, making it easier to land or position yourself, unlike the laser. Now, the laser is quite expensive, costing you $6.5 million. But if you don't feel like paying that much, you can do what most players do and just steal it from the military base. Now, these jets are the fastest way to travel across the map and are useful if you're doing timed events such as uh, security missions with Care Perico Heist. Up next, we have the Torador. Now, first, you're wondering what separates this from the Stromberg? The Torador, like the Stromberg has missiles and machine guns. Unlike the Stromberg, the Torador can boost and has up to four seats. I find this vehicle helpful since you can use it in contact missions and high setups, unlike other vehicles. Now, is it worth 3.6 mil? I'm not sure, but either way, it is a nice vehicle to have. Coming up next, we have the Oppressor Mark II. Now, your experience with this vehicle is either really good or really bad. It's a hover bike that allows you to go up to fast speeds, and if you upgrade it, you can get missiles installed. Now, the only downside to this vehicle is that you must have a terabyte to customize it, and you could only store a terabyte in a nightclub, so you have to have that as well. Aside from that, it's a good vehicle. It's fast, has weapons on it, and can be in the air within seconds. For our last vehicle, we have the Buffalo STX. This vehicle came out on the contract DLC and is heavily underestimated. If you have a vehicle workshop in your agency, you can customise this vehicle with Imani Tech. That means you can install a missile lock-on jammer, which will prevent homing missiles from locking onto you, like the Oppressor Mark II, or you can install a remote control unit. This allows you to control your vehicle in the interaction menu, like the RC Bandito and RC Tank. But yeah, that's going to be it for useful vehicles that every digital online player needs to have. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in a bit.